Hello everyone. Welcome to another video by Coders Daily. In this particular video, we are going to solve another HackerRank.com problem, which is known as functions in C. So let's get started and understand the problem statement. So over here, they have written that in this channel challenge, you will learn simple usage of functions in C. Functions are a bunch of statement grouped together. A function is provided with zero or more arguments and it executes the statements on it. Based on the return type, it either returns nothing, void or something, right? So basically what they want us in this particular question is to understand how functions work in C programming language, right? So function is basically nothing but a set of code, a set of code which is reusable. What is function? Function is a set of code which is reusable, right? So let's just say if there is a functionality uh, for example, let me give you an example that if you want to check if a number is even or odd, right? One thing you can do is you can create a linear code or you can create a functional code. The problem with linear code is that you can't reuse it, right? But for a functional code, the thing is that you can reuse it again and again, right? So in this particular problem also, the hacker rank wants us to understand how functions works in C. And based on that, they have given us a problem. The name of problem is maximum of four numbers, right? So what they will give us, will they want us to write a function int max of phone number, take argument of four number int a, int b, int c and int d, and then write a logic which gives us an output, uh, a number which is the maximum of all the four numbers, right? So over here, I can, I'll give you a sample input. So basically they are, they, they have given us four number three, four, six and five, right? So what logic we will make is we'll compare two numbers at a time, right? So let's just say this is variable A, this is variable B, this is variable C and this is variable D, right? What I will do is I will compare each of them one by one, right? So let's just say I'll compare that A is greater than B, right? and a is greater than c also and a is greater than d also so what will happen based on this a would be the maximum number because a is greater than b c and d so the maximum would be a only right similarly if a is not the greatest what i'll do is i'll check again if b is greater than a and b is greater than c and b is greater than d right if this is also not true what i will do is i'll again check c is greater than a and c is greater than b and c is greater than d if these three conditions are not matched then again i'll check else i'll prove that d is the maximum right because the d is the only variable which is remaining right so this is the logic which we are going to follow over here right Again, what I have done over here is this is one way which you can use to solve this problem. One more thing which I have added is that there is one more logic which we, which I can give you. This is the longer one, right, which I have told you. Now this is the so shorter one which I have used in this particular problem. So what I have considered is I have considered maximum as A initially. So I have thought that A would be the maximum. Then what I'm doing is again and again, I'm just comparing the numbers with A. So let's just say if B is greater than A, right? So what I'll do is I'll just check. I'll, I'll just run this code on the real marks. So let's just say three, four, six and five are the numbers, right? So what I have done is I have kept maximum equals to three initially because A was three. Now what I am doing is I'm checking that four is greater than max. If it is true, then I'll convert max equals to four, which is not true. So I'll keep max equals to, yeah, obviously this is four is greater than max. So what I'll do is I'll just write max equals to four, right? Then again, I'll check if again, C is greater than max. So now max is four and C is six, six is greater than four. Now again, I'll convert max equals to six. Again, if I am checking that five is greater than six, which is not true. So I will we'll keep at the end max equals to six and a function returns something. So we'll just return max, which would be six. 
so there are two ways where you can use to solve this problem right one is this one and one is which i have used over here right so what we'll do is we'll just run this code quickly and see what is the output we are getting so we'll just run the code so we are getting our completely right answer and i'll submit this code also so all the test cases are running which means that this code is optimized as well as correct everyone thank you so much for watching this video if you are liking this series please do like share and subscribe our channel thank you